Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? How's everything? All good. Okay. Everything fine. Fine. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay. Here we have. Okay, so we have Javier, Minor, Heather, Paulo, Andres, and Santos. Okay, we just yeah, ready here. Okay. <clears throat> So we have now. Then we had yesterday the daily schedule. With the test and other things. And now we have this one. Okay. Uh, in this lesson, participants will read an article about jobs. And in order to practice the reading comprehension for specific information, some questions are answered. Okay. And this is what we read, right? Okay, good. I'm going to read and you let me know <coughs> if you have any any questions about the vocabulary, right? He says, what do you need? Why do you need a okay? Why do you need a job? This kind of profile, who is in high school, who is in college, and who is a new parent? Okay, to be a mother or a father. These people need jobs. Read about their schedule experience in why they need a job. Okay, we have Teresa, Teresa Glass. I don't have to I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art. I have class all day on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And on Tuesday and Thursday morning. I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience, but I can learn quickly. All right. Questions about vocabulary from Teresa Glass? No. The next one is Herring Thomas. Herring Thomas says, my husband and I have a new baby. Uh, he makes a good salary, but we don't, have, we, don't have, we don't save very much money. We want to save money some money to buy a house. I take care of the baby, so I need a job. I can do at home. I know, I know how to type and I have a computer. Questions? Okay. Lamar Andrews. Lamar, I'm 16 now and I don't get an allowance for my parents and more. I need to earn some money because I like to go out on the weekend with my friends. I go to school every day from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. My father owns a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. Okay, so according to this, 
who is in high school? Teresa, Karen, or Lamar? Lamar. Lamar, right? He said, he said, uh, they go to weekends and I, I go to school every day. What about the uh, college? Who is in college? Teresa. Teresa, right? Teresa says I have a class yes. on Monday, Wednesday. Yes, correct. And who is a new parent? Who is the new parent? Karen. Karen, right? Say my husband and I have a new baby. Okay. So the new parent, okay, is his mother, high school student, and a college. Now, we can, now that we understand this, we can answer these two questions. Teresa needs a job too. Earn money for college, save money, or buy a house. Earn money for college. Earn money. money for college. Okay. Harry needs a job too. Save money. save money to save money and Lamar needs a job to what? Get up on the weekend. Go out on the weekend. Okay, with his friend. Go out on the weekend. Okay, good. Okay, earn money for college. That is correct. Save money is also correct and go out on the weekend is also correct. And then we have 25 points. Good. Okay, I think uh, this is the end. This is the end of section two. Okay, this is the end of section two. So we are now about to start section three. Okay. So in this case, uh, we're going to study a different topic, okay? And, but before, before we, we begin the lesson three, okay? I want uh, some volunteers to read the homework, right? The daily routine. Who wants to volunteer? In, Remember, this, les uh -huh. in, in this lesson, participants will to a conversation about demonstra demonstrating why mm -hmm. shopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in this case, uh, I, uh, we're going to do that after the exercise. Eh, para cerrar la anterior, quisiera que algunos compartieran sus daily, daily routines or weekly routines. Okay, something that you have, okay? Volunteers, volunteer. Me? Okay, Javier, go ahead. Okay. Eh... My daily routine, but it, this is from Monday to Friday. Perfect. I get up at 5 a.m. and immediately I exercise for 30 minutes. After that, I have a break of 15 minutes. Then I take a shower. I go to work at 6.15 a.m. After that, I have five minutes safety meeting at 7 a.m. with the warehouse people. I have breakfast 7.30 a.m. Then I have a continuous improvement meeting at 9 a.m. o'clock. I have lunch at 12.30 p.m. Then I have a Six Sigma meeting at 3 p.m. I get home 
at 6 p.m. After that, I get at I get a shower at 6.30 p.m. Then I have dinner at 7 p.m. After that, I check the English platform and I do the activities. Finally, I have English class except the Friday. Okay, wow, excellent. Okay, you see that sounds very fluent. You know, it's, not really it's real. Yes, no, don't expect that. It's a little more, right? <laughs> because now you can see you apply, you apply your English knowledge in the reality. Right? No, no en ejercicios. Okay, this is something that you, that you do every day. Okay, very good. Yeah. Yes. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, Javier. Okay. Anybody else? La voy a compartir yo, teacher. Okay, very good. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Claudia. This is my daily routine. I usually get up at 7 a.m. I always do my teeth and take a shower. Then I have breakfast at 8 a.m. After that, I teach online from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Okay. I usually cook the lunch. After my work, I clean the house, I wash the dishes, I read the book, I listen to music. Um, I work uh, on the English platform from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Then I cook the dinner and eat the dinner. He at 8 p.m. I recite English class. After class, I often qualify and finally I go to bed at 11 p.m. Wow, it's a very busy day, Claudia. Right? Very good. Okay, so you have a lot of. Uh, tasks, a lot of activities during the day, right? So this is, for example, uh, look in the house chores. Look in the chat. Okay, house chores. Okay, for example, you see uh, when Claudia was telling us after she teaches her classes online, then she has a lot of chores to do, right? But the dishes in the house, is this, okay? Things that sometimes we we do, right? For example, wash the dishes, uh, clean the house. Sometimes, you know, I cook and then, so these are activities that we do in the house, okay? Then uh, she has time, in the evening, she has time to, to get this class, okay? To log in. Okay, and after she goes and she has to mark, you know, she has to check on work and activity. Okay, Claudia, very, thank you very much. So, uh, there is another thing, right? Sometimes it's not necessary to give the time you know, to every single activity that we do in the house because, you know, at 6.55, I wash the dishes. Then at 6, at 7.20, I, uh, I clean the house or I do this. So sometime only the, the sequence of activity. Very good, well done. Anybody else? Come on, you saw it's very easy, very nice. It's something personal, something that is it's easier when you're talking about yourself. When you're talking about somebody else, it's more memory, but in this case, it's something that you do. You just remember what you do during the day, okay? And describe it. <clears throat> Don't be shy. No sean tímidos, right? Don't be shy. Me, teacher. Okay, very good. Go ahead. Uh, my, da my daily routine from Monday to Friday. 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 I wake up at 7 p.m. Then I take a shower at 10 past 7. After that, I have a breakfast at 7.13. Then I start work at eight o'clock. After that, I have a lunch at 
half past 12. Then, then I start working again at half past one. After that, uh, I drink coffee at four. Yeah. Then I finish work at six. After that, uh, I usually have a dinner at seven. Then I see my social network. Finally, I go to sleep at 10. Okay. And then you have this class, right? You just study English too. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Very, very good, David. Okay. Thank you very much. Excellent. Well done. Nice description. You know, it's a chronological, it's, you know, organized. Okay. Good. Come on. One more. One more. We have time. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Um, on weekend days, the Monday on Friday. Yes. I get I get up at five p.m. After that, I do exercise at five uh, five fifteen eight p.m. Later. I pray at 5.45 p.m. Okay. Then I take a shower and, and get dressed at 6 p.m. Also, I cook my breakfast and eat at 6.30 a.m. Then I go to work at 7 p.m. After that, I get to work at 8 p.m. Then I have lunch at 12. I get home at 7 p.m. After that, I have dinner at 7 30 p.m. That's I study English at 8 p.m. Finally, I go to bed night 30 p.m. Okay, very good. So thank you very much. Okay, so you have you have dinner at 7:30, you said it, right? Before before the class. Okay, so you have dinner. Okay, excellent. Okay, so you see these are a uh, this is optional, como esto es personal y optional, right? Uh, in your daily routine. Uh, you write or you mention the things that for you are important and relevant. Okay? So that's why uh, no, you not, there is no one routine specific. Okay? That, that, no. okay. Depending on our, on our uh, uh, responsibilities, right? The things that we have to do, the things that we want to emphasize, Okay, and the things that for us are very important. Thank you very much. Very good. So we have another one. Okay. One more. Come on. Doesn't hurt. Okay. All right, teacher. All right, minor. Go ahead. Uh, my daily routine. Um, I get up at 4 a.m. and then take a shower at 4 p.m. I am. Then I put on my work uniform to go to work at 4.45 a.m. I start working at 6 a.m. Uh, I have my breakfast at 8 a.m. Usually finish work at 4 p.m. to get home at 6 p.m. I have my dinner at 7 p.m. I start my English classic classes at 8 p.m. until 9 p.m. I finally go to bed at 11 13 p.m. 11 30 p.m. Okay, busy day, my very busy day. Bien ocupado, right? Yes, yes, my dear. Okay, if you see also when you do when you do this exercise, okay. You see that we have many, 
many activities during the day, right? And the daily routines also help uh, us to, you know, to organize our day and to organize our time, right? Uh, and then that is something that is really, really important, right? So because uh, if you have to uh, do something tomorrow, but if you put it in, it's like daily routine, it's like the agenda for the things that we have to do, right? Or the to-do list, okay? The to-do list, those are things very important to organize our time. Excellent, one more. I have time for two more, two more. Hi. Hi, teacher. Okay. Hi, then uh, Pablo and then Juan Navas. Okay, Juan. Okay. 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 Thank you, Juan. Okay, Pablo, go ahead. Okay. Okay. My daily routine on weekdays, I get up at half past five, and then and then I shower at six. I brush my teeth in the bathroom. Bathroom. I have breakfast at six. Theory, and okay. then I go to work at seven. After that, I go to work. The lunch at one in the afternoon. I leave work. I leave work at five. Then I get home at six. It depending on traffic. Mm -hmm. Then I have dinner. I and I get ready for my English class that start at eight at night. Finally, I go to bed at 10 at night. Okay, very good. Excellent, okay. Good details, you know, nice detail, okay. Thank you, okay. good organization, Pablo. Okay, Juan, your turn. Okay, teacher, thank you. Uh, good night, uh, daily. Uh, I get up at uh, five in the morning. Uh, then I take a shower. Uh, then I go to have the breakfast. Uh, before I go to work, I, I read a board at seven in the morning. Uh, I go on to five in the afternoon. Uh, then I go to English class uh, at eight at night. Okay. That's it. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you, Juan. Uh, th that's, uh, those are the activities, okay, that you see. For example, the, the May, right? There are some uh, in the routines that we have every day. Sometimes, I están como las líneas gruesas, right? The ones that don't change. But depending, sometimes on Mondays, probably we do one or two things different. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Then probably, uh, let's say, uh, Tuesday and Friday, we have other activities, okay? And then we include. So when you have a routine about the week, then you can see more changes. Okay, people, okay? With this, you can, uh, you already know how to put, well, you can make sentences, remember? I get up at six o'clock, I take a shower at seven, and then I have breakfast at at eight, I go to work at nine. I start I start uh, working at nine thirty. I have lunch, but after that, remember that you can uh, make a paragraph using then after after that. Okay, before. Okay, so you can use this word like connectors. Okay, to connect one idea with the other. Okay, and that way, you know, you can use, when you use then, after, after that, then your English sounds more fluent. Okay, uh, when you, when we say only sentences, sounds, you know, like, uh, like cut, cortado, right? I get up at six. I take a shower at 6.30. I have breakfast at seven. I go to work at 7.30. But when you say, uh, well, every morning, I get up at five, then I take a shower at 6.30. Uh, after that, I get dressed. Then, uh, then I, I prepare my breakfast. 
and I have breakfast. After that, I brush my teeth before I go to work. Then I go to work at eight. I arrive to my office at eight thirty. Then I have a cup of coffee and I start to work. You see, you know, when you say and after, that gives more fluency of ideas, right? It's the same, the same, they are the same sentences, but we are connecting the ideas, okay? So remember the importance of using then, after, uh, after that, finally, before, and that way you can uh, sound more fluent in your English. And try to use always, always everything that we learn in class, try to put it in practice with something that you do every day, with something personal. Because when you do it that way, it's easy for you to remember, okay? If you do it about another person, then you have to memorize and remember. But when it is about a personal thing or things related to our daily routine, it's easier. Okay, well, I wish I could have more time. Desearía tener más tiempo para pasarlos a todos, but you see, the next time I have the names here, so we had, uh, let me see, friends, Javier, Claudia, David, Saul, Maynor, Pablo Ernesto, Juan Abbas. And then the next exercises, somebody else can practice, okay? So that everybody can participate and have a little practice. Okay, remember that practice is the most important. Now we're going to start with unit, well, with section three. Okay, then I will share here. And I don't know if, uh, no, Jenny, you're here now. Yes? Would you please read okay. this object now? This lesson practice will listen to conversation about demonstrative while shopping. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, what is demonstrative? Remember the demonstrative pronouns? Which ones are they? The ones that we use with what is far, what is close. Do you remember? I'll give you one. This. What are the others? Those. Uh -huh. Those. 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 Uh -huh. That. That. This. And, and this, okay, you see? Yeah, so then it's about a little push, right? Very good. So this, that, these, and those, okay? Then we have this. Remember that this is something that we have here, close. I can say this computer, okay? And I can say that computer, distance, in singular. Okay, this computer, one, singular. That computer is one, singular, but in a distance. In plural, we say uh, this, for example, this pieces of paper, these, plural. Okay, short distance. And then imagine the paper, you say those papers. Those papers in the distance, plural. Okay, so let's see the com uh, let's listen to the conversation and see the explanations here. The sound is low, teacher. Okay, okay. Thank you. And we have to share computer sound. You're right. Okay. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? 
please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. You are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay. Princess, happy Which birthday. one? That blue one. Okay. Now let's see the vocabulary first, expressions. Something that you can see there is new. It says, oh, look at those earrings. Okay. Earrings is, look at the lady here. These are earrings, right? Okay, earrings. Hey, Maria, they are perfect for you. And they say, these. Okay, the man is distance, those. Okay, and the lady says, these red ones. She's touching, see, short distance, long distance, okay? These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones, okay? Los amarillos, right, the yellow ones. Oh, these, okay, these. Mm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace, that, say the distance, that necklace. Earrings, necklace, okay, necklace. Isn't bad. Which one isn't that? So which one? The, the blue one. That blue. I think this one is blue. That blue one. Right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay. Questions? No, teacher. No problem? Okay. If you have no questions, then, uh, Jenny, can you do me a favor? Can you read the part of Maria? Uh, okay. Eduardo, you read the part of Steve. Okay. Okay? Go oh, ahead. okay. Oh, look at those, those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. This red one? I am not sure. No. The yellow ones. Oh, this? Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace is not bad. Which one? The blue one, right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank Happy you. Happy birthday. Okay, good. So that's a nice friend. That's a nice friend. Okay, now let's see, do we have another, ah, yes, Tatiana, it's not lady here. Tania, Tatiana, can you read the part of Maria and Alan? 
you read a part of a steel. Hello. Tatiana, are you there? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. And Alan. Alan? No. Okay, then uh, Osmaro? Yeah. Okay, you read the part of Steve and Tatiana is going to read the part of Mari. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hey, oh, look. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, look. I just curious, Maria. Do you have perfect for you? These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow one. Oh, this. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace is involved. Which one? That blue one, one right there. How much is it? It's 42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, very good. Okay, nice. Good fluency, good fluency. Okay, good. Then if you have no questions... Right there. How much is it? Now only listen to the pronunciation and the intonation, okay? And the intonation as well. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm... Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, good. Now, let's continue with the practice. Okay, now, uh, let me see. Luis Alberto, please, reading the objective here. Okay. By the end, in this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns. This, the, this, this, that, those, to express po possible cho choices choices. Okay, good. Remember, this singular, okay? Short distance. This plural. Long distance. That is singular. And it says, uh, sorry, sorry, short distance, long distance. And those is the plural for long distance. Okay, so we have this one is this. This. And this is these. Okay, this and these. This, this. That, those. This, these. This is like relax, right? Relax. This. And the other one is these. Tense. It's como más tenso. Say these. Then el primero más relajado. This. This is the one. This is the one. These are the ones. That. And those. Okay. Now, let's see the video and let's check the explanation that they give us here. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns this, these, that, those to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? 
How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's forty-two dollars. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're eighteen dollars. Prices: forty-two dollars, fifty-nine ninety-five, or fifty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four: this, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This singular near, these plural near, that singular far, those plural far. Therefore, we use is for this and that, and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, "Is that your car? Which one?" The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers, and they replace the noun in question. Okay. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative. The pronouns this, these, that, those to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives: one, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's okay. Just to break it up into parts. Remember, one is the substitute of necklace. Okay. So, how much is this book? Okay. How much? They said is、uh, how much is this red car?、Uh, this red car is a five thousand dollars. And they say, "How much is this blue one? How much is this blue car?" Okay, one substitutes the noun necklace. Okay, if it is close, this. Okay, if it is far, that. Okay, that necklace, that one.、And、they say, "Which one? The blue one." It's forty-two dollars. How much are these earrings? And now here comes the plural. How much are these earrings? So we say these. Okay. How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They are eighteen dollars. Prices. Forty-two dollars. Fifty-nine ninety-five, or fifty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four: this, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This singular near, these plural near, that singular far, those plural far. Therefore, we use is for this and that, and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, "Is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is." Okay. Suppose in this case, I ask a. Let's say, uh, Carla. Is Carla? Oh, yes, Carla is here, right? Carla. Yeah, here. Read, here. read the question. Okay. Is that your car? Uh huh. Then you say there are one, two, three questions. Okay. Okay. If I say. Are there three? 
No, they read no. the question and they say, which one? Which one? Oh, now, okay. Usted me pregunta, ¿cuál? Uh -huh. Yo le digo, when the question is very general, right? Very general. Say, Carla, read the question. Read the question. One, two, three. Okay, then you say, which one? Which one, Luis? Which one, teacher? The second one. Okay, read the second one. Which one? Exactly. The... Okay, so you see, you are a uh, como más uh, ubicada, right? You say, read the question. Which one? The second one. Okay, which one? Okay, now uh, again. Carla, read the question. Which one? The first one. Is that just car? Excellent. Okay. Again, read the question, Carla. Which one, teacher? Okay. Very good. The third one. The red one or the or the uh -huh. blue one? Exactly. Very good. Okay. You see, for example, when we use this one, pero what is the difference? In the primera le digo, Carla, read the question. Entonces, when Carla says which one is which question, teacher? Which one? Okay. You got it? You see how to use it? No problem? No. That's right. We use one and one when talking about choosing or having more than one option because here we have more than one option read the question for example suppose i say uh hey, let me see javier yes show me your hand which one uh-huh okay which hand the left which hand uh huh. No, no, it's okay. Which one? Okay. Left, the okay. left, the left one. The left. Uh huh. Exactly. Okay. You got it, people? Okay. And I say, for example, eh, eh, Javier, touch your eye. You wash your hands, yes? Okay. <laughs> yes. Now, okay. Touch, touch your eye. Or up, señale, point, point to your eye. Which, why, which, why, which eye? Which one, which one, huh? which one? okay? Se ven, por ejemplo, cuando yo digo point to your eye, usted ya, ya sabe, ya ahí ya nos estamos refiriéndolo. And then you say, which one? Okay. Okay, say, the right one. Exactly, right? Then you, you point to your, oh, no, this one, right one, okay? You got it? So this is a which one. Cuando hay más de una opción, right? This is when we have more which than one? one option. Okay. Uh, for example. The words uh, one or one. Sorry. Okay. Uh, let me see. Tatiana, tell me your name. Uh, Tatiana. Only Tatiana? Flores. Only Tatiana Flores? Yes. You don't have a middle name? <laughs> huh? Yes, but I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Okay, perfect. Okay, then you say, for example, suppose you say, tell me your, your name, and then you say, <laughs> remember, name is first name, middle name, okay. last name. You have two last names, and first name and middle name, right? Now, tell me your name. Uh, which one? Okay, which one? Your first name. Uh, Tatiana. Okay. No lo voy a preguntar el segundo because you don't like it. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. But you see this. Okay. Okay. This okay. Is, okay. You have more than one option. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Ese es un uso práctico, right? De cuando se usa which one. Y el one entra a sustituir la palabra que ya utilizamos. Okay. Remember that eh, es lo mismo que los pronombres. Okay. Supongan que yo les digo... Eh, a ver, díganme lo que entienden en esta pregunta, si, si me la pueden contestar. If I say, does he have breakfast? ¿Cómo le llega esa información? Who's mom? 
Ajá, uh -huh. who? who? Who is he? Exacto, no hay, no hay referencia. Okay? Entonces siempre necesitamos una referencia. If I say, for example, okay, does, a, let's say, does, a, let me see, does minor have breakfast? Yes, he does. Okay. Now we have, for example, the reference is. Always go at the end of. The reference is minor. Okay. Does minor have breakfast? Yes, he does. Does he, does he work? ¿De quién estamos hablando? The minor, right? Okay. Yes, he does. Okay. Pero ya lo mencionamos en la primera oración. Lo mismo sucede acá, right? You say, for example, show me your, uh, let's say, show me your hand. Okay, which one? The left one. Okay, close, uh, let's say, close your eye. Which one? The right one. Okay, so then this is when you have more than one option. Of the question and answers, and they replace the noun in question. Okay, that's what it says here. Replace the noun question. in question. They replace the noun in question. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Carla. Um, the ones we can use with the people too. For example, if I say, if I say, um, who are the boys over there? Which one? You can. We can use it. Which yes. ones? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay, for example, suppose I said, uh, suppose you see three boys in the corner of the street. Okay, uh, and then you see other group of two. And then you see, for example, uh, another group of two, three people in different places, right, in the street. And they say, who are those boys? Who are those boys? And then you say, which ones? Oh, the ones in the corner. Then, ah, okay, justo lo que está en la esquina, right? Or the ones by the, by the store, okay? Los que están por la tienda, right? Or which ones? Ah, uh, the ones, uh, the ones near the blue car. Okay, yes, you can use it for people. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're, wel you're welcome. So, folks, let me see what else. What well, I can I show you the pictures now? Okay, good. Now, any other question? Not for the meantime. Okay, let's teacher. see. Yes? Anybody said teacher? No? Okay, for example, suppose I said, uh, what is the girl, what is the girl wearing? Or what is the woman wearing? Look at the picture here. Okay, let's see if we can make it larger, yes. Okay, what is the woman wearing? This tiendo, right? Which woman? Which one? Uh -huh. Exactly, which one? Here's an example. Uh, which one? Uh, the one on the left in your screen, right? The one on the left. She wearing a sweater, purple? Mm-hmm. Yo el suéter aquí lo veo gray, pero es purple, ¿eh? And, <laughs> oh, yes, in my, but I know it's purple, yeah. And the other or one. Or gray. Huh? No, I don't know. I'm or kidding. gray. <laughs> <laughs> and the pants? And the pants? The pants are purple, right? <laughs> no, yeah. I, yeah, I, purple. It's, it's always kind of weird. <laughs> Okay, good. Purple, All right, but you see girl. the purple girl, yes. Then you see, for example, <laughs> then you can identify people, right? 
Okay, what is the woman uh, wearing? The one on the left. Okay, which one? The one on the left. So, in vez de decir woman, you think it's one, 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 right? The which one? Which woman? The one on the left, the woman on the left. Oh, then you say that one. Ah, esa. Suena bien despectivo en, en, en español, pero en inglés you can say, oh, that one. Okay? Pero en español suena bien fuerte el decir esa. In English, no, right? Say, so for example, uh, what is the woman wearing? Which one? The one on the left. Ah, oh, that one. Ah, yes, that lady, that woman. Okay? But in, in English, well, in Spanish, it will sound very rude. Okay? So then this one. This is one example. How to use it. Okay, then. Uh, let me see. Alejandro, can you read these instructions here? Instruction. Yes, please. Uh, look at the picture below and complete this conversation using demonstratives. One, ones. Okay, one, ones. Okay, then we have, well, <laughs> these are genes, okay, according to the conversation. Okay, so then we have, excuse me. Let me know como que eran toallas. All right. So then we have, Okay, here. Okay, excuse me, how much? How much? Remember that the, the, the clerk, la, digamos, la asistente, is this one, right? And the customer, the client, is this one. Okay? So, excuse me, how much? Are these or are those or is those? Are those? Are those? Are those? Are those? Are those? Okay. Which ones? Which ones? Ones, because it's plural, right? Ones. Ones. Okay. How much are those? Ones? Uh, no. The light blue. Ones. No, the light blue ones. Okay. Oh. They. They are. They are. Okay, very good. Okay. I like that backpack over there. How much? Is it? Is it? It's only one, right? This is which one? The red one. The red one, correct. Oh, it is twenty seven fifty. But the green on the one. green, the green one. One. Uh -huh. the one. one. Okay, it's only twenty two twenty five. Okay, so we have one, one, this, they, ones, ones, um, those, okay, those, and there you are, okay? Very good. Okay. This, uh, these examples or these, uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's say, uh, what? Uh, the most of the pronouns, uh, the, for example, using one or ones, sounds very uh, basic, but when we read or when we do these exercises, it's easy. It's easy to do it, right? But when we are speaking, if we don't practice, son de los errores más básicos y comunes que cometemos cuando estamos hablando. Okay? El usar el he, el she, el it, el this, el one, el once, okay? 
porque es algo que nosotros no existe en nuestro idioma. Entonces, that needs a lot of practice, okay? A lot of practice. Probably the theory here, the explanations and everything is, okay, clear, no problem, okay? But at the moment of practicing the speaking, uh, we make mistakes. Y a veces decimos, ay, si es tan básico, ya lo sé, right? Even you, even, a veces uno mismo detecta sus errores. So some mistakes is, ah, sí, ya sé. Okay, but that is because of practice, right? So remember that this, uh, when you see this kind of exercises, is read them, uh, practice them, okay? For example, tomorrow, uh, if you are with, uh, for example, talking to yourself, you say, uh, look at that uh, the red car, which one? Uh, the one in front, when you are driving, right? Okay, look at the red car, which one? The one on the left? the one on the on the right the one behind okay the the one in front of me the front of us okay so you can practice in that way okay so here we go again now we have to use it says uh in this lesson, participants will listen to the sentence expressed in order to improve. Now we go with pronunciation. Okay, but this is something that we're going to practice tomorrow, okay? So with the sentence expressed. So this is for practice, and tomorrow we have a practice with this, that, and those. Okay, and we'll see what else. Okay, people? Questions? No questions? No questions. Well, check no, the platform, no okay? Question. Try to complete the platform because on Friday you will have the, the, middle, the middle test, the midterm test. Okay, tomorrow vamos a hablar del midterm test, okay? Okay, everybody. So have a good night and see you tomorrow, okay? Good night, tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody.